Why is disturbance recorder application needed? Wherever there is power distribution, there might also be a fault. It's important not just to limit or stop the fault completely. It's also important to gather data and use that information to make improvements to avoid similar cases in the future. A disturbance recorder is an application or specific device that helps us to understand what happened in the network. It continuously records measured values, current, voltage, and signals from the measurement devices, processes the data, records, and stores it. In case triggering happens, it also helps us analyze the impact on the equipment and on the grid, and we can prevent it from happening again. Most importantly, we can also see what happened. For instance, this is a screenshot from WaveWin, a software tool for analyzing disturbance recordings. Here we can see that there was some kind of disturbance in the system. We can read the values and see in which phase of the three-phase system there was the most disturbance. And we can also see other data. Comparison between conventional disturbance recorders and SSC 600. Conventional disturbance recorders are supplied by several manufacturers worldwide. In this application, however, the role of the disturbance recorder can be handled by the Smart Substation Control and Protection SSC 600 device. So, these devices to the left use conventional measurement from conventional current transformers, CTs, and voltage transformers, VTs, where all the connections are done with hard wiring. Now, let's move to look at the examples, comparing a conventional disturbance recorder to an SSC 600 application. Here is one example of conventional disturbance recorder, and it has 96 analog channels and almost 200 digital inputs. It is receiving signals from conventional CTs, so in a three-phase system, three CTs means six wires per panel, six wires from VTs, and several wires from the circuit breaker, the protection relay, the lockout relay, and the emergency stopper button, Buchholz relay, and similar. All these need to be hardwired to a freestanding panel because a conventional disturbance recorder is so large that it cannot be inside the medium voltage switchgear panel itself. This separates freestanding panel houses cooling and other auxiliary devices. To sum it up, there can be up to 400 hardwire signals. This means quite a lot of wiring coming from the switchgear to the freestanding panel. Here we have the example with SSC 600. There are two ways to approach this. Either you use standard conventional CTs and VTs, or alternatively, you can use sensors. We have a similar setup as we saw earlier, but here in this case, all the signals from inside the switchgear panel are sent to the protection relay, which serves as the main protection unit. It protects the panel and the switchgear. All the data is sent over the communication network to the SSC 600. The size of the SSC 600 devices is a 19-inch rack, which means it can be easily mounted inside the metering panel's bus section, so it all stays within one switchgear. To simplify and have a more efficient approach, we can change the conventional technology to sensors and process bus. This way, instead of having 400 wires, we can have a lot less wiring with fiber optic and galvanic cables we can have 20 or fewer Ethernet cables connected to the switch. Benefits of using an SSC 600-based system Some of the benefits of SSC 600 as a disturbance recorder include Space savings. It's all in one. There is no need to have a freestanding panel. You can choose either to have conventional CTs and VTs or go with the sensors. You have only one configuration software tool for all the protection relays from the Rely on product family and also for SSC 600. There is also up to 90% reduction of the wiring needed. Only one simple connection with normal Ethernet cables with RJ45 connectors or fiber optic. You also have a reduction of low voltage and medium voltage material. There are both time and cost savings, as you need fewer man hours to install and configure all the equipment. And these cost savings can be substantial. Another benefit is that because the SSC 600 device supports Precision Time Protocol, IEEE 1588 version 2 time synchronization, the recordings are very precise in the system. Troubleshooting of the entire system is significantly improved. Finding the fault and finding the faulty piece of equipment is easier and faster.